Hey guys, I'm Marta Geek. In this video, I'm going to be playing Atlas Fallen here on the Steam Deck. This game actually comes out tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, August 10. Uh, but I received a code a couple weeks ago so I can try it out and, you know, upload a video for you guys if I like it or not. So here it is. Uh, this game, size wise, right now, it says 27.32 gigabytes. Now, keep in mind, this is before the game is actually released. So I don't know if on day one there's going to be like a huge update or not. And maybe the file, of course, is going to change. So keep that in mind. So we have this right here loaded up. It's going to load up right here. I'm going to load up from a specific save point. That way I can share with you guys. Let me see. Let me click right here. Okay, so here we are with our character. Okay, so here we are with the character that we use. Um, this is basically like a post-apocalypse thing. The situation going on here. And like you see here, sand. Navigating on sand like this is a big deal for this game. And it's really cool. Something very, very unique. There you go. Oh, oof, almost fell off the cliff. Almost didn't make that jump. So, so far, cutscenes in this game actually, you know, look pretty cool, pretty good. They do, do a great job explaining the story, what's going on here in this world. What? Back off! I was merely attempting to revive you, and it looks like I was successful. You <laughs> put on quite the show. Blinding light, a rush of air, your faces. Here. Familiar. I don't think we've had the pleasure, friend. What did you want with the gauntlet? Oh, I heard stories about it. How dangerous it is and mm -hmm. how people... So I'm going to be skipping here a little bit of conversation. You know this? That way we can get I into gameplay. Friends. Can't say I do. Where? Behind me. There's a gate beneath a bunch of sand. Mm -hmm. You can answer, like, questions. I can help with that. You can make choices yeah, right. as you play if in you this game. So. You do that. In case you're tired, now I don't know rest, if a, a lot of these choices yeah. that you Take this. make actually affect the gameplay <sighs> later on or the story. You can expand it. There you go. So we got that. We got our view to the map. We got it right there. Let's meet at the village later. I'll mm -hmm. see you around. Okay. We're dude. I don't think I like this man. <laughs> at least he's given us information. If the knights are behind that gate, can we unearth it? You might have hurt your head. And not only that, it is incomplete. So we are speaking to it like a little spirit. It's called Ni this Nido? 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 Yet? Can it be fixed? Ah, oh, trust is complicated. There you go. If we get them back, we can reforge the gauntlet bit by bit, getting new powers along the way. Nope. And preventing further explosions. Great. I sense up. Okay, so we have a gauntlet, right? We do not yet have the strength that lets us do a lot of things Come. with it. Let us change that. But right now we need to actually upgrade our gauntlet. If we tap right here, nope, not not there. Over here, uh, we can actually see the things you can do with your character, like changing his clothes, his armor. You can see the map, you can see the quests, the journey, co-op, you can play this game in co-op as well. And here you can actually upgrade the gauntlet by using essence stones. These stones, they give you like different kind of powers for attacking and all that. Um, same thing here, weapon type, you can change the weapon types and you can also upgrade them. 
and these basically they're called idols but they're like perks they add like something extra to your attacks and so on and so on just gonna show you guys here you see the game actually is performing pretty damn good considering this is this is actually an open world like action rpg game and considering we're playing a game like this here it actually performs really that good of course let's go and show you guys the settings that i'm using here it's not high of course this we gotta lower down so we got 800p right v-sync is off frame limit up to 60 um fsr i have it on i have a, these adjustments there and this is on low i put everything on low there that way it can perform as good as possible here because i did try different you know i did try putting some things on medium some things on there the piece i sensed uh, on low but it plays for a while good but then it starts i see something around it the frame rate starts dropping or lagging it's and all that so i had to actually just Accept it and go low. Okay, so here we are combat. I'll be able to show you guys the combat here. This guy right here. Boom. Uh, he has like a, a skin. Uh, it's called sand skin. That you tap right there when you see them boom like that <laughs> it's like a special armor but you have to time it when you time it correctly it actually freezes them yeah you got it boom mm hmm There you go. <laughs> That's it. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> Wall time. Right. Ooh. Holy crap. I gotta get some health. I can also jump and glide like this. Woo! Nice. Defeated. We should be able to get the piece now. There you, you go. Weakened. You should take care of yourself. So to use health, uh, to use health, you just press the LT over here, and you see over here in the bottom we have like a couple health little tiny orbs so it consumes it right there uh, you can also perform like special attacks by pressing here and here i believe let me go ahead and see okay this is where we enhance our gauntlet you found is still dormant it needs enough of its shards to be properly mm -hmm. forged into the gauntlet okay can you sense these shards too Yes, let me show you. Mm hmm So you press right here, and it, you can like see. You see the beacons of light. The beacons Everyone of light. Everyone is a shard calling out to you, to the gauntlet. Can we unearth the gate to the knights once we have them? Yes, and with that, more powers, more memories. I guess, 
It's a bit much to take in. I... I will need your help. And I will be here. Mm -hmm. I need you to be safe, too. Use my senses if you lose sight of them. And they will guide the way. Got it. Okay, so every time you see, like, these things right here... Uh, whoops. Nope. So here, you can either upgrade your armor, but right now I don't think we have enough items here to upgrade. Oh, I don't think we do. We're going to upgrade. There you go. So we upgraded the armor there. Uh, you can also, from here, apply the perks. See? Unlock a perk. Then you keep unlocking more perks there. They keep on progressing. The gauntlet upgrades. But I need to upgrade that. So from here you can also save the game. You can also fast travel to other benches like that that you discover. And that's it. So here, let me see, I think. Whoa. Let me see, can I jump this gap? I don't think I can. Okay. Oof. Woohoo! Yes, I could. <laughs> what? Oh, Philos, where did you come from? Yeah, I came from, from the other side. side of the world. There is literally no bridge. It's a long story. Yeah. I was told there was a village nearby. Castrum 7 is right on the other side of that road bridge. So yeah, this game is pretty cool because it has like a lot of like those common open world RPG type of elements. You meet people, you do side missions, um, you have to, there's a, you know, there's a very cool storyline going on and uh, you're trying to solve the storyline, but while you're going through, while you're going through your main missions, trying to finish your main missions, you're gonna get side missions. You're gonna meet new people, they're gonna give you like items to upgrade your armor. See that? Very really cool. Yeah, we got a bridge here. The running section, when you run, you press and hold here, right, to run. When you're not on sand, you know, you run normally. But when you are on sand, it just starts sliding like, uh, like you're skateboarding on the freaking sand, which is awesome. You got another box here we can loot. Sit. Cool. You can tap here to see you my eyes. where you need to go. There you go. Okay. Nice. 
Essence Core acquired. Okay, so here we have something new that we unlocked. Right? We can fuse. There you go. There you go. See, we added something new there. Same thing with all these other things you unlock. This is going to be like new moves. There you go. So yeah, that's the cool thing here. That's something really nice that this game got for it. I love it. I love it. Like, see, right now I'm playing on low, and it looks really good. Uh, this game on PC, if you have a badass PC, man, it's got to look amazing. Because you can actually take the, this thing up all the way up to the Ultra. Exploring. Every time you do exploration, uh, you might be able to find something. You were uh, okay. Oh yeah. Oh, oh man! I thought that was something there. Nope. See when you try try to run there. If it's not sand, it'll, he'll just start running. Okay, let's see if we can get into combat here. I can feel a shard nearby. Keep your eyes peeled. Nearby? Where is it? If you can, just leave it. <laughs> Live now to fight another day. Let's get out of there because I was about to die. Whew. Holy crap, are they following me? Whew. Okay, there you go. Dude. You better talk with our leader. He's further down the mine. Okay. So, of course, this game I release, you might find a couple hiccups here and there. You know, this game just came out. So, obviously, this will get be getting updated as time goes on. And um, right now, I, I believe it's not Stimsy. I don't think it's verified because the game is not officially released yet. So, let me see. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Okay. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not uh, officially verified because, of course, it's not out yet. But I think by the time this game actually comes officially out, I think it, I think it's, it should be considered verified. Even though not, it's not going to be perfect. You know, it's not going to be perfect. Okay, let me see. Can you raise this? Okay, there you go. 
Yeah, with the gauntlet, with the power of the gauntlet, you can actually raise platforms. Oh, there you go. This totem seems familiar. I don't know. I can feel its energy. Mm -hmm. What is that? I think it's pointing me that way, right? What's this? What's this? It's pointing me this way, no? We can't jump this gap yet. But that place, a piece is there. And also, memories. We need to figure out what happened here. Okay. Ah, oh, look at that. We just found another another bench which is gonna let us gonna let us fast travel to this location, think, upgrade our weapons, our gauntlet, our armor. Pretty cool. It's a major piece there. It could be what we need to unearth the night's gate. Okay. Thank you. Of course. Right here, let's go ahead. Oh, momentum gauge upgrade. So we just unlocked another section here for momentum gauge upgrade. So unlock socket. There you go. So now I can go ahead and and put uh, item there. Well, it's gonna save the game. New save. There you go. So now when I load the game, it's gonna load up right there. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna jump to there yet. <laughs> So yeah guys, let me know in the comments what you think about the game. I think the game is actually pretty damn cool. I like the combat, it's pretty cool as well. Um, I like his suit, you press like this and it takes it. Cool. By the way, when you are fighting and you are like have like a streak, his weapon actually gets Bigger. Oh crap. There you go. <laughs> nice. Seems like somebody lives here. I don't see anybody yet. It seems like somebody lives or used to live here. Cracking up. Okay, we got these. Well guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching. Those wounds need treatment. Yes they do. And we're gonna put you there right now. <laughs> Let's go and see if we get up to here. That must be Castrum 7. Oh look at that Somebody frame rate how it dropped right there. The are limited and it's what ah it's you there you go Any luck on keeping that so guys thanks for watching this video yes. this was atlas problems. fallen very right. cool game Please. with very uh, like awesome new mechanics that compare you know compared to all the friends. other 
open oh, world sense. action RPG type oh, of games. Uh, this has something good going for it. You can see here ago. the frame rate is dropping. Fast. Uh, but that's, and, you know, that's I too... Don't remember who told me that. You know, it's not that uh, like I said, this game just came out. And it just needs to get up, updated as well. So, but so far it's been performing pretty good. Once in a while you'll see frame rates drop like that. But it's, a, it's actually a pretty cool game. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Till next time. Bye-bye.